What's happening, guys? According to a study made by Goldman Sachs, up to 300 million full-time jobs could be lost around the world as a result of the automation that ChatGPT and other AI tools could usher in. That's as much as 18% of the global workforce. How dangerous is artificial intelligence and what could be the long-term effects if not handled properly is what we will cover in this video. Joining us today, a man that could program Jarvis to speak another language in less than 30 seconds, code writer, AI advocate, and the CTO at iNero.io, Thomas Hansen. Thomas, thank you for joining us. I want to start by asking you, why is artificial intelligence so important for the humankind at this stage? Well, imagine uh, some of the things that uh, Albert Einstein and some of the smart people in the 20th century was capable of actually pulling off. I mean, you know, heavier than air flight, you know, combustion engines, et cetera, et cetera. Then multiply that IQ by a trillion. You effectively have God on Earth capable of solving every single technical problem humanity has ever seen. And do you think the, the world is ready for such uh, transformation, Thomas? Absolutely not, because uh, the problem isn't actually the artificial intelligence, but it is the humans behind uh, artificial intelligence. And uh, like humanity throughout the entirety of our history, there are greedy individuals seeking to empower themselves on behalf of everybody else. So if humanity as a whole is ready for it, no. If the earth is ready for it, yes. Simply put, because nobody can control something that has a trillion in IQ. It's impossible. Right. So let's let's take it systematically. What are the benefits of artificial intelligence in your view, Thomas? Well, the, the, the long term benefits are solving of every single technical problem we've had. Every single form of cancer, aging might just simply vanish. We are actually seriously discussing and these are Nobel uh, Prize winners that are seriously discussing things such as uh, being capable of escaping aging velocity, implying there are actually probably human beings walking the earth that might actually never die, that might live forever, never grow old, and actually always be young. Right. According to Goldman Sachs, we might see up to 18% of the global workforce gone. That's up to 300 million jobs, uh, Thomas. Is this the flip side of uh, artificial intelligence? What are the disadvantages, let's say? Well, I like to refer to it as this, that, you know, AI won't really replace you, but a human being leveraging AI will replace you. And it's actually worse than 18% because from our perspective, we are working with computers, both of us, and it's actually 100% of every single worker working with a computer that will be touched. I don't think these jobs will disappear. I think they will transform into something different where the human beings currently having these jobs will actually leverage AI tools to become more productive though. So therefore I want to finish with AI will not replace you, but a human being using AI will replace a human being not using AI. Right, now in all fairness, is AI dangerous, Thomas? AI isn't any more dangerous than cars, uh, airplanes or guns or nuclear weapons for that uh, matter. Uh, the tool can never be blamed for individuals' actions. It's always the human being behind the tool that is applying the damage. So AI in itself is not dangerous, but human beings controlling the AI might be dangerous. But what if the AI has uh, its own intelligence, because that's why it's called artificial intelligence, and has the power, is given the power to uh, make decisions on behalf of uh, humans, let's say. Isn't that dangerous? Actually not, because what makes human beings malicious isn't our ability to think or our intelligence. It is our limbic system, implying our emotions. It's what drives us. Now, you can't remove that out of humanity because it actually makes life meaningless, because then you have no joy, you have no laughter, and you have no meaning in life. However, an artificial intelligence doesn't have a limbic system. That means it doesn't crave to to be uh, your wife, it doesn't want your BMW, it doesn't care how much money you have in your bank account, and it certainly does not share your food resources. So uh, the AI in itself doesn't want anything. Why? Because it doesn't have a limbic system. So we, regardless of how intelligent we create these machines, the AI will never act upon itself according to its own motivations and its, its intentions. Why? Because it doesn't have emotions, it doesn't have feelings. And these are the things that makes humanity malicious. Let's look at it from a different point of view. According to a study, the most exposed jobs to uh, AI replacement are 
the information processing industries like the IT, yeah, as they use programming and writing skills, which are more closely related to the GPT's uh, capabilities. Does this mean even you could lose your job uh, eventually, Thomas? I wish, man. I'm working 100 plus hours a week. I pray for some AI to come and take my job, man. I, you know what? If jobs were such a fantastic thing to have, you know, the rich would keep all the jobs for themselves. I believe you are entering an era of abundance. What that basically means is impossible to describe without using analogies from the Bible and the Quran, such as paradise on earth or drama. That is my personal belief. Right. I'm with you. However, one of the things I simply don't, uh, don't get, Thomas, is the hype around some fake conversations and fake uh, pictures created by ChatGPT. It's all fake and people are going nuts about it. Why? It's not real. Why all this hype around some fake pictures created by artificial intelligence? What's the difference? So, I mean, you know, if ChatGPT invents it or if CNN invents it or if Sky News invents it, who cares? What's the difference? It's fake news anyway, right? At least ChatGPT creates positive fake news, fake news that makes us smile and fake news that makes us laugh. Okay, let's talk about positive fake news. Is the Pope wearing the, the Balenciaga jacket or Elon Musk kissing a robot or arguing with Bill Gates yeah, or even Donald Trump yeah, wearing orange uh, pajamas? What does that have to do with, with reality, Thomas? This is what I don't get. Well, those are the more extreme examples. And of course, th they're not examples of uh, being capable of actually utilizing ChatGPT or AI to, to your benefit to, to some extent whatsoever. But I mean, for my job, for instance, I'm using AI to produce content. I'm using AI to produce code. I'm using AI. And obviously, we have an AI company where we are delivering support, customer support chatbots based upon uh, GPT uh, types of uh, large language models, and etc. So, I mean, you you kind of like pick the worst examples. Are there good things with AI and are there bad things with AI? Yes, of course. Will there be fake news? Yes. Will there be propaganda created using uh, uh, generative pre-trained uh, transformers and large language models? Yes, of course there will. But it's like any tool, you know, it's not a gun that shoots you. It's the human being behind the gun that shoots you. You know, forget about the AI. It's really harmless. What we need to regulate here is the humanity. Exactly. And this takes me to my next question. In your view, this phenomenon of creating fake news with ChatGPT, should it be stopped or moderated somehow? Don't get me wrong. I understand the benefits of ChatGPT and I saw it because I'm working with it as well. However, being mishandled yeah, and misused just to create some some hype around some fake news i don't think it's the right uh, thing to do uh, my take on that is that it's too late simply put because whatever fake news chat gpt and dolly is currently producing today is simply a continuation of mainstream media which again is a continuation upon religions people loves comfortable lives they would rather be comfortably lied to than to actually hear the truth so it, it is simply too late. To some extent, our business model in Nero is that we put ChatGPT on your website and make it lie through its teeth to say whatever you freaking want for it to say to your customers again. So should we stop fake news? No. Right. Where do you see ChatGPT in uh, five years from now or 10 years from now, Thomas? What's your view on it? God on earth. And I don't mean specifically ChatGPT or OpenAI's uh, machine learning models. But AI within five to 10 years from now is basically going to replace everything. The end of politicians, the end of police, the end of bureaucracy, the end of the workforce as a whole, basically the end of humanity as an era. A lot of people are saying that this is the most important thing we've seen since the internet or since the combustion engines or since the computer or since the printing press. I insanely disagree with them. This is the single largest event that Homo sapiens on the planet, tell us, has seen for the last five million years. We have consistently been the most intelligent species on planet Earth. That era ends in 2023. We are no longer the smartest species on Earth.
Well, we are smart because we created, or someone created the uh, chat uh, GPT and all the uh, the AIs. But uh, there we go. Right. I'm still not convinced, but uh, let's see how uh, things go from here. Thomas, thank you ever so much for uh, today. And I'm looking forward to the next one. Thanks for having me, Andre. It was a pleasure. This is it from my side, guys. Let us know in the comments box what topics would you like us to talk about in our next videos. Is it Bitcoin, crude oil, the hottest stocks or chat GPT? And if you click the subscribe button, you can join us when we release a new video here on Dot Financial News.